you want to know what's happening at the cutting edge of a given industry, you need to go off the tape. You've got to check in with the privately held companies that are inventing new ways to do all sorts of things, including shopping, something America does well. Which brings me to Not Standard. That's K-N-O-T. The online retailer of bespoke suits that's aiming to bring custom-tailored clothing to the masses without the tailor. This company has a very compelling proprietary business model. They have a number of different ways to take your measurements online, either through your webcam or through a proprietary match, your, your favorite suit platform. We're going to talk about that in a second. Where you take the measurement from a suit that fits you and then plug them into not standard system. Or you could also go to one of the company's showrooms. They have one in New York City where they take your measurements and then buy, buy a suit, shirt, blazer, or pants, all tailored online. I think it's an incredibly novel way to combine e-commerce with bricks and mortar showrooms that don't have the need for any nasty inventory. It's an intriguing model, one that's been growing by leaps and bounds. That's why I want to take a closer look with John Ballet. He's the co-founder and president of Not Standard to hear more about his business and its prospects. Mr. Ballet, welcome to May of Money. Good to see you, sir. Have a Good. seat. Thanks for having us. All right, explain this to me. Uh, I love nice suits, but my suits cost a fortune. I have to have them custom made because I do it off the rack they don't fit. Am I a candidate for Not Standard? That's, that's music to our ears. So you know what we did, uh, my partner Matt Mueller and I, when we founded this was try to find a way to make ill-fitting suits, which represent the masses, and put it onto a custom platform. So Not Standard sells through three different ways. We sell online, which you mentioned. We sell showrooms, and we sell the corporates. So we take a guy like yourself and put him A to Z into a custom suit. Okay, why do we need the showroom? So the showroom is to put you at ease. Like, we didn't need the showroom. So for three years, there were no showrooms. And then okay. we listened to the customers. They kept knocking on the door. We say, this is an office. Come back later. And you can only say that so many times until you say, why don't we give a little space dedicated here, and then, voila, we have seven showrooms around the U.S. and uh, overseas. Well, the reason I ask is a combination of the fact that Restoration Harbor believes, which is a fantastic company mm -hmm. that, does, that believes that the actual catalog, the actual online doesn't depict the great product, but also because of what Amazon's doing when they're opening a showroom for the first time. So, obviously, there's a need. Yeah, there's absolutely a need. So when we look at customer behavior, there's guys that just want to come, touch, see, feel the fabric. Right. That guy will never go away. So why would we keep him, you know, without an opportunity to do exactly that? So if you want to come and see us in New York City or in one of our markets, we have to give you that opportunity. But we do so in a capital efficient way. So it's a, it's a showroom, not a shop. Okay, now one of the reasons why I wanted you on is, is that I was intrigued. It looks like that Kevin Plank, who's one of our absolute favorites, Under Armour, momentum named right today, not that good, but he seems interested in the company. What, did, what do you think he's seeing that makes it so not standard so special? So, you know, Sagamore Ventures, um, you know, via Kevin and his team, probably see the same thing that all of our investors see, which is a wide open market. When you look at the opportunity for custom suiting versus the masses, it still represents a very small percentage. So now cue in athletes. You have full football teams, full basketball teams, odd shapes and sizes. University of Texas. University of Texas, one of our clients, one of our 15 schools we work with, but a phenomenal way to put big and tall guys into a custom suit for the first time and do so in a way that you know, makes them proud of the way they look. Are you pitching the NFL? Because people, the NFL guys have to wear suits. That's one of the rules that they set. Sure. So with the NFL, it's very different than college. Close. Very close. So it's different because, you know, LaShawn McCoy doesn't want to look the same as Mr. Foles getting off the bus. Good point. Good point. Now, thank you for mentioning that. Because <laughs> Sunday night is uh, American football night on NBC. Okay, now look. This is a Brioni suit. Okay, it's sure. a super 180, mm -hmm. which is very hard to find. This is the most threads that you can get in a suit. Can I get a super 180 from you? Absolutely. You can. Absolutely. We have 5,000 options in the showroom. Well, you, you got go, the right amount, the right dollar amount for this suit. Right dollar amount. So, you know, a Brioni suit, a Tom Ford suit, you're probably looking north of four to six thousand yes. dollars. If I'm, if I'm not getting. Too so personal. what if I sent you this suit and I said, listen, you know, I want more suits like this. What happens? So we have a match your suit program. So if we never even saw you, you could send us that suit. Say, I brought wear a Brioni 42 regular, you know, president's cut or whatever the model. We have those measurements on file. We could replicate that in whatever fabrics you wanted. For what cost? So a Super 180s, top of my head, I'd say you'd be looking at two, $2,200. So, okay. so roughly a third of probably what you're paying at Brioni because we're selling direct to the consumer. And how about if I have, say, a, a $2,000 suit? What would that come into? So figure you can half it each time. Like, okay. you know, rule of thumb, half it, because we're creating a brand. You know, ultimately, we're creating a brand where, you know, there's a place 
there's a shop called Not Stay where everything is your size. But one last question. Are, I, I'm, I'm not as in touch with younger people as I said. When I interview people, I always want them in a suit. Are there enough people coming out of college who need to get, and coming out of business school, coming out of law school, who need to get a suit bargain that this market can continue to grow? Absolutely. Absolutely. On the low end and on the high end. So we service both. Wow. I got to tell you, this is the, it's the new world. Really is. All right, that's John Belays, the co-founder, president of Not Standard. That's K-N-O-T. Hey, listen, if you can get a tailored suit for less than off the rack, wow, it's a cool model. Stick with Kramer. <laughs>